Welcome to Surfaces and Splines, a series of SOLIDWORKS video tutorials presented by the Demonic Group. My name is Andrew Lowe. I'm an industrial designer with the Demonic Group. And in Surfaces and Splines, we take a look at the production tool-ready modeling of this work flashlight. Previously, we took a look at building better chamfers using some manual techniques. This week, we'll take a look at building better fillets with some manual techniques. So last week we split the body in two so that way we could add the chamfers and now we need to fill it the, these corners. However, filling this corner, we see if we split the body, the benefit of splitting the body is that the chamfer ends because we can only fill it one body at a time. If I had put the two bodies back together with the combined tool and I fill it this one edge, I don't have a smooth seam or a smooth blend from this edge to this edge. And if I fill it both edges at the same time, I get something like this, which is not what I'm looking for. So that we can work around this. So here I have the body, and I still have a top body and a bottom body. And I'm going to add fillets to the corners. I'm using the face fillet tool here, where I fill it one, or I select two faces instead of an edge. The reason I'm doing that is I have the curvature continuous option, which creates a C2 fillet versus a C1 or tangent fillet. If we turn on our curvature, we see that the radius changes along the length of this fillet. If I was to change this to a circular fillet, we see we have one consistent radius all the way along. So when this large fillet, I'm aiming for a curvature continuous connection. So we'll, uh, we'll just set that to, to curvature. Uh, the downside of using the face fillet tool is that I can only fill it one, uh, or add one fillet at a time. So I've had to use a second feature to add the rear fillet. Finally, this rear edge. And now I need to manually build this top fillet. And we can do that with split line tool. We're going to generate new edges which uh, form the perimeter of our fillet. So I've added a uh, line here, made it uh, coincident to the end of the fillet here. So I have these two edges of the fillet. And finally on the top plane, or sorry, another um, edge there. And now I'm going to use the delete face tool. Oh, wrong button. Using the delete face tool with the delete option, which will turn the solid body into a surface body by removing these faces from the model. I need to add a little more material using surface extend. And finally, on the top plane, I have a style spline that I've made uh, curvature continuous to this edge and curvature continuous to this edge. So now I'll use delete face and I finally use split line to split this face and delete face to remove that from the model. I use a surface trim to trim that extra little uh, corner of material and now I have a perimeter for my fillet. With the perimeter defined, I'll use a boundary surface between this edge and this edge in direction one, the top edge of the fillet, and the manually created uh, split edge here. I'll add curvature to both edges, and I'll use my combs to evaluate the quality of the surface. Here we can see that uh, the combs are dipping down to nothing on this flat and this flat. We have a really nice curvature continuous uh, transition. So even though I wasn't able to use the fillet tool to build this, I wanted to really control what this edge looked like, so I used the split line tool to isolate the, the perimeter and finally the boundary surface to, uh, to build the blend. I'll now use the surface knit tool and knit that into the model. I still have two separate bodies here and I'll need to combine them. And to do that, a lot of the time the combine tool will work. So combine combines uh, two bodies, so I'm adding. Sometimes however, when you try and combine the two bodies, there's uh, little microscopic differences in the faces and uh, SOLIDWORKS or the pair solid kernel that uh, controls the geometry in SOLIDWORKS doesn't like that. So it's a workaround. Um, the workaround is to delete the two touching faces of the model. So here I have one surface body. Here I have another surface body, and if I was to section through the middle, you see I've removed the two common faces. And now I can use surface knit. 
with the try to form solid option on and now we have a solid body. So the split tool um, can be useful for A, generating new edges and B, for manually stopping fillets along a predetermined line. That way we can really control what our shape looks like and not have the resultant edges be determined by uh, the fillet command in SolidWorks. So to get that smooth corner we want and not rely on the fillet tool, we'll start to adding what fillets we can with the uh, face fillet tool because we wanted a curvature continuous blend here. And now we need to finish the fillet manually. So using a combination of split line and trims, I have isolated a boundary for this new um, surface to live in. There's lots of different ways we could do this. We could have done trims, we could do split lines. If it was solid, we do a cut. How we get to this is uh, not as important as outlining the shape of the fillet. So now I'll use a new boundary surface to finish the fillet manually. And finally I'll use combine to put the two halves of the body back together. And just a tip, if the combine tool fails, it says uh, zero thickness geometry or um, a feature failed in geometric condition, you can delete the two common faces of the bodies and use the surface knit to combine them into one whole. So thanks for watching. Please follow the Damani Group on LinkedIn where we'll be posting new videos weekly.